With churches and laws everywhere, many persons will have a problem with what I want to say, but it is the truth. Christians, Muslims are idol worshippers. Oh, before now, when I say idol worshipper, your mind goes to someone who is worshipping iron, Aaron deity. But right now, in this our generation, many persons worship the idol of money and pleasure. You see, young boys, young men, young women, even older folks are ready to do anything for money. From the politician to the undergraduates, everyone is ready to bow down to the God of money, not minding the costs. And it is very sad. A lady will say, I can do anything if you can give me this amount of money. A guy will say, I can do anything to get this amount of money. For pleasure, sex, our society is so sexualized. Everything around us, we are driven by pleasure. It is how long you can go, how hard you can go. You see a young boy, a young girl of 20 years with body count more than the age of his grandfather or her grandfather. It is either money or pleasure. And these two go together. Many persons, even in many churches, they idolize their man of God, their papa, even more than the word of God. They are not ready to consider anything from the Bible if that thing is speaking against the character, the teaching of their man of God. That man is your idol. Forget the fact that you are spraying some Christianity on the face of that idol. We must learn to ask ourselves the question, does anything take the place of God in my life? If there is anything that takes the place of God in your life, if there is anything that will make you jettison your faith, your belief in God, that thing is an idol. Now that you have known, I ask you, are you an idol worshiper? You may not have seen it from this slide before, but this is just to draw consciousness to the fact that the devil is very subtle and there's a new form of idol worship. And many of us unknowingly are partaking. It's time for us to repent. Let's go out there and do better. Hope to see you around again soon.